Hey guys, sorry I can't be there, but I want to remind you how to do this. Remember, you have to have common denominators for them to be able to add or subtract from one another. So you're going to take your two bottom numbers, and for step one you're going to put them down here. Remember, this is like times one, times two, times three, and so forth. So six times one is six, nine times one is nine. Six times two is twelve. 9 times 2 is 18. 6 times 3 is 18. I don't have to go because I've already found a common denominator. So now I'm going to turn both of these fractions into common denominators. 6 times 3 gives me 18. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So 4 times 3 gives me 12. 9 times 2 gives me 18 and I can check down here it took me 1 2 3 to get to 18 it took me 1 2 to get to 18 here what I do to the bottom I do to the top 3 times 2 is 6 so now I'm looking at this fraction I'm looking to do this with them and this new fraction here okay again those of you that are science minded they have to be the same animal to work with and they're gonna stay that same animal 12 minus 6 gives me 6. These can be reduced. If you're not sure about doing it in your head, do your factors just like we do during daily math. 1 and 6, 2 and 3, we're done there. 18. 1, 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. 6 is our biggest number they have in common. We're going to divide by 6 with our HCF. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 6 divided by 1 is 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. This was my first number. This is my reduced answer. Good luck, guys. Be good for the sub.